Welcome to Atlanta Live. Yeah, I'm Christmas. Gail Williams. I'm Carl Ray. <laughs> We're set. How are you? That's what I found out this morning. Merry Christmas. And boy, the set is just looking beautiful with Christmas. Well, you look beautiful, it? too. Thank you. You really look nice. Thank you. Behind the <laughs> veils over here, Christmas tree. Yes. This is my favorite time of year. That's Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, and is. listen, we want to first tell you how you can tune in to us. Please go to www.watc.tv and come on live and watch us, or just go to Facebook Live and watch us. There's several ways, Apple TV. So tell your friends, we've got a wonderful, wonderful show for today. Yeah, absolutely, and if it's cold where you are right now, just grab a cup of coffee. Which it probably chocolate, is. Hot chocolate, peppermint, nice blanket, put the fireplace uh, in action, you know, grab your bride That's or right. your girlfriend That's right. or your mama or your son or your cat. Be happy today. Be happy. Be yeah. happy today. I this is a time we'll to be happy. We're going to see that today. That's yeah. right. We're going to bring some love and happiness into your living rooms, Christmas into your homes. Music. Yes, we want you to get excited about this time of year. Sometimes it can be a downtime for a lot of people who may be going through grief and may be going through some just some downtimes. You have to know Absolutely. that Jesus is with you. And if you come on programs like this, you're going to get lifted up and encouraged and, and blessed. Yes. And inspired. And inspired. And again, Jesus is the reason for the season. Don't forget it. And we're going to share some great music with you today. Yes, this one here is going to be I'm singing. I'm going to sing a little bit, but... The singers we got tonight, they're, <laughs> oh, Rachel, man, yes. she's going to blow your so socks off. She's I mean, wonderful. I'm a, I'm a rookie compared to this young lady, and I look forward <laughs> to hearing her, and I think you're going to be blessed, truly blessed. Absolutely. So we look forward to it. We're yeah. looking forward to the music, and Carl Ray's going to be singing some Christmas music. We've got beautiful Christmas music that's going to lift you up. We've got uh, Leah Hernandez is coming here from to talk to us about UNCF, and we've got... Um, Christina Banbury and Tamika Meadows from MindSmart Group that's going to talk about autism and helping in that situation. So we, we've got a wonderful, wonderful program yes. that's going to lift you up. So we're going to continue to help you and give you tools that you can live better and make your <laughs> lives better. Because I know everybody's going to make some resolutions in 2019. They're coming. I know they're coming. That's right. But uh, we, we're resolute in Jesus Christ. That Amen. He's, he's going to order Amen. our steps. And he's going to lead us in the direction that he would have us to go. And yes. we're excited about that for 2019. So we're going right now to Rachel Mann, who's going to start us off with this Christmas. Hang all the mistletoe, I'm going to get to know.
Wonderful. I tell, you, I tell you, she's gonna blow your socks off. Thank didn't you? you. I love it. I mean, I love it. Bring let's make right this Christmas, school. this Christmas, let's make it a special Christmas. But we have a very special guest right now, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit just for a moment about UNCF. United Negro College Fund, and our guest is here to talk about them. They have given 10,000 scholarships, fellowships, and internships over the past like 70 plus years. And they're not federally or state funded. They get contributions from corporations, foundations, families, and individuals. They financially support 37 historically black colleges and universities. And you know the motto, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Why'd you look at me when you... Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible thing to waste. Okay. Our yes, guest, <laughs> Leah Hernandez, is here to talk about what they have done for her, which is amazing. She's got Welcome, a family Leah. testimony, great testimony. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be it's here with pleasure you Pleasure to be here with you. I'm doing great now that I'm sitting with you guys. Oh, you look great. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us what's happening with you. And... Uh, I know you're going to mention Clark University for all yeah. those Clark University yes, folks the out there, right? University, mm -hmm. Clark Atlanta University. Yeah. I am in my senior year. I'll be graduating next spring, which I'm super excited about. Oh, awesome. I'm studying business administration with a concentration of marketing there. Oh, wonderful, wow, wonderful. Wow. Now, are you from Atlanta? No, so I'm originally from sunny so Southern California, so I don't know how I ended up all the way in Atlanta, <laughs> especially when it being 30 degrees. This is new I for know. me. It's new for us, too, 30 yeah. degrees. I it's bet. Cold. Well, we've been all over, Pittsburgh, Minneapolis, We Wisconsin. know about cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. We've been to cold places. Okay. This is lightweight. You'll be fine. This is a lot for me. It's about your purpose, right? You. It's all about your mission and your purpose, Absolutely. Right? Right. And this is the city that I need to be in, so I'm so glad to be here. I've had a great three years, and I look forward to staying, too. Oh, good. Well, oh. tell us all about it. You have a story to tell about what UNCF has done for you. Yeah, so my freshman year, I took out every single loan under the sun. I'm a first-generation college student, so I didn't know much about how to get my education financed. So after going through a financial literacy program at CAU, I learned about the importance of financial literacy literacy and by the time I would graduate a hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt didn't sound too appealing to me mm. um, so the following year I made the decision to apply for scholarships but I really wasn't set on it so I remember going to financial aid one day and they told me Leah you still have a remaining balance but no worries all you have to do is just sign on the parent plus loan and you'll be good to go so I was like, okay, great. That'll take away the pressure. So right. got out the Parent PLUS loan. I went back to my dorm that night, and I heard it so clearly. God said, I did not tell you to take out that loan. Um, so the following day, I went back to financial aid, told them to cancel it, um, and that I would get the rest paid for scholarships. So I had two weeks to come up with about $7,000, uh, and I applied for every scholarship I could find my hands on. I made contacts. I used my resources. And then UNCF was so um, amazing. It actually came through with that scholarship, and I was able to apply for more and get my sophomore, junior, and senior year paid wow, for wow. with no loans. That That's is, a blessing, right? That is amazing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so how did you feel when you... Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously when God says, I didn't tell you to do that, <laughs> yeah. it's like, oops. You know, <laughs> but when you went back to financial aid and you turned the money back in, basically, mm -hmm. how did you feel not knowing where the money was gonna come from. It was scary, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, because I had no idea, but because I heard him so clearly, mm -hmm. I was more afraid of what would happen if I didn't do it. Yes. <laughs> so uh, after that, I just did my part. I had faith, but then I actually put in the work and made sure that I did everything in my power to get the money that I needed to, which meant applying for scholarships. Right. And he was right. able to take right. care of the rest. And there's a little bit of detail going into that, too, with, with applying. You have things that you have to do. Yeah, absolutely. But see, the, th the great thing about UNCF is a lot of students are concerned because they think that they have to have a 3.5 or above to get scholarships. Okay. Um, but UNCF, you can actually have a 2.5 GPA and still get scholarships. Wow. Um, and it's really based off of the community wow. service work that you do, um, maybe the industry that you want to go in. So they really, they don't make it competitive. Um, they really try everything that they can so that way students can obtain scholarships. That's so when awesome. you say the volunteer work that you do, you mentioned when we were in the back that you were going to Haiti. Yes, right. I am, which I'm so excited about. It's actually an organization called Breaking the Cycle on Clark Atlanta University's campus. So I'll be traveling with them um, this upcoming December for two weeks, and I'll be in Haiti. 
Wow. wow. So what will you guys be doing in Haiti? Yeah. So we'll be working on service missions trips. Um, so we'll be working with students primarily at the local orphanage. Um, and because of the company and the work that I've done with students out here in the States, I'll actually be over there creative writing program. And I'll be teaching students how to write, oh how to um, be creative in their writing, and hopefully write children's books. See, wow. that's how, how awesome God is. Initially, yes. you came to... Uh, you started filling out applications for money for school. Yeah. And he said, don't do it. And basically he was saying, I'm going to provide a way for you. So you Absolutely. came uh, yeah. to him at a point of need. Now that you're getting ready to graduate, now you're helping people yourself. Mm -hmm. So he's now turning you yeah, into a, a yeah. vessel to help others. Yeah. How awesome is that? It is so awesome and it's so rewarding. And, and I often ask myself, like, why me? You know, I didn't go to school for English. It's really by accident that I ended up in the publishing industry. Um, so I'm really so excited to be able to give back to my community and help the students that I work with here. So yeah. let's stop there because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't want to bypass. That's yeah. no little thing. Yeah. Right. So right. let's your company. Uh, let's rewind. <laughs> yeah. Just talk about that publishing and yes. why and what is it doing for people uh, around you and for people that you work with? Yeah, so I started a company called Young Authors Publishing and what we do is we work with students in low-income communities and we teach them how to write and publish their book and we actually publish their book as any other publisher would. They get wide distribution, their books are on online platforms, book sale, our bookstores and libraries and the great thing about it is that 80% of those royalties go to a savings account for each child. Wow. So uh, what we're looking at is if we get young authors between the ages of 10 to 14 and they're able to sell about a thousand books they can gain anywhere from 10,000 to 12,000 by the time they turn 18. Wow. So essentially we're giving them um, something to start with, not only access to capital, but we're teaching them how to dream and letting them know that they can actually accomplish those dreams. Oh, you might be calling you. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> you know, that is so incredible because, yeah. you know, what's incredible is your calling out of all of this, you know, because I hear you saying God talks to you and God yeah. tells you and you're hearing very clearly what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. So you have a close relationship. With yeah, the Lord. absolutely. And I'm sure you have a testimony around that, even though oh. you're just a young girl. I'm Listen, sure. so I don't know how much he, he fit everything in a whole lot of the young years, so it I happened. Know. But I actually wrote a book my sophomore year titled Try God, and it talks about how to have an authentic relationship with God. That's incredible. And not only is it teaching other people, um, people often tell me it's like a roadmap to relationship with God, but it's more so of me sharing my story of how I came to have a relationship with God and then Amen. teaching other people practical ways how to do that. Because uh, what I learned at a very young age is that if God is at the center and that he's at the top of my life, then everything will fall. Um, Absolutely. Everything else will fall into place. Oh, wow. That is so incredible. And that's exactly what's happening. UNCF opened that door for you. Yes, they did. You know, because God opened that door. He said, no, not this way, that way. This way. And they are doing that for you and other And kids. for so many others. And right. I think that's why UNCF um, is so amazing. Because when you support UNCF, you don't just support the student. Um, but oh, wow. the student, like myself, we are able to support other people and really able to go after our dreams and our goals. That's and so a lot of times, especially um, in my experience of going to an HBCU, is we're really taught that too much is given, much is um, Amen. required. Yeah, yes. much is required, much is given. So I really learned that whatever I did with my career aspirations, I had to give back. Um, but I think I learned that from UNCF. And That's good. That's good. Isn't that, that, that me. is so awesome. Yeah. Well, I went to Texas Southern University. Uh, 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 HBCU yeah, as yeah. well. So, <laughs> so I understand, and, mm -hmm. uh, and I understand the, the uh, I appreciate the, the experience I had there, Absolutely. you know, not only the education, but the culture of the school. And, yeah. Uh, seeing yes. people like yes. Muhammad Ali come on campus and, you know, oh. all those those people who were making news at the time that they gave uh, time back platform. to the students yeah. and mm -hmm. used their platform to help students like me and, yeah. and other people. So it's, it's very special. And you're becoming one of those people who will oh, help. Oh, thank you so right? much. Yes, you are. I'm trying. I do what I can. <laughs> you're doing an awesome job. I'm so thank impressed. You. I'm so impressed. So what would you say to the student <clears throat> out there who may be in their dorm, getting ready to go to school, uh, parents are scratching their head, you know, saying, I can't, we can't afford this, or what are we going to do? And there's do? a lot of that going right? on. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, do you, what would you say to those those people? I would tell them faith plus effort. Um, the two coexist. You can't have one and not the other. 
you have to have faith and know that God is going to do his part, but you also have to do your part too. So use your resources. Um, I would encourage all students to make a UNCF portal um, where you can obtain those scholarships and to reach out to your local community. There are so many people who are willing to help students, but you have to utilize those resources. So faith and effort is what I've lived my life by and what's helped me tremendously. So that's what I would tell the students. Well, you're certainly a You're blessing. an old soul. You're... I am. I am. I get that you often. You are so wild. You have brothers and sisters? or yeah. I have a younger brother, and I'm the oldest grandchild out of eight now. Oh. So, yes. So you've got a lot under you that you're I helping. Do. I do. I do. So really setting the foundation for all of my um, other cousins and my younger brother. What a role model you are. I'm sure you inspire yeah. them, right? I do, I do. So I have all my cousins. It's like a competition of who's going to write the next <laughs> book and get it published through the really? company. Yeah, That's it's so super cool. cute. So every time I go home, I help them write their book, and uh, we're going to get it published soon. So yes. Well, I'm a first generation as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I was mm -hmm. the only, actually I was the only one in my in my family to go to college. Wow. And uh, and I understand the experiences, you know, and value those experiences. And Absolutely. So yeah. Now we have two children, and they both have graduated. They graduated. And, uh, have great it's careers a big deal. going it on. It is. And it's it's awesome, you know. And so uh, one of them has a child, Aww. and I'm going to have her call you so yeah. they can talk about a book. And, yeah, uh, I would love to do that. Yeah. I would love to do that. The thing about children's books, a lot of people ask me, Leah, why does your company only publish young authors? Um, and a lot of times we read books by people who are written by something that we want to learn about, who's our expertise in that area, and who best to write children's books than children? Because they ultimately know what they want to read about and learn about. That is so yeah, true. So, and they have so many amazing stories inside of them. They just yes. need some help to get it out. So it's really an honor working with the children that I serve. Oh. So if someone has a book idea and they're interested, what do they do? How do how can they reach you or? Yeah, um, I visit youngauthorspublishing.org. Um, all of the information that you're looking for is on the website, all of the books that we publish, the students that we work with, um, and any contact information. If you want to come and help and support, you can find on that yes. website as well. And and you I just love, help children. Yeah. Yes. Well, I want them to be able to get her book too that gives your testimony and how yeah. young people you know, need that in encouragement from other young people. Yeah. You all listen to each other rather than <laughs> you listen to us. Yeah. Tell the truth, right? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. But you also have something, getting back to UNCF, mm -hmm. you had something coming up with them as well, right, that you wanted to tell us about. Yes, yeah, so this Saturday is going to be the 2018 Mayor's Mass Ball, which is going to be super exciting. It's um, an event that they do annually to help generate funds, um, to be able to give to students like myself and to be able to outpour uh, so that way we can dream and we can grow. Um, and really live the lives that we're intended to. So mm -hmm. that event is going to be this Saturday in Atlanta. You can visit uncf.org to find out more information. Oh, wow. Okay. Or Google it, you know. Yeah, yes. or Google it. It'll pop right up. It'll pop right up. Yeah. So awesome. You'll be there, obviously. I will. I will. And this year, um, they're crazy enough to throw me on stage and to speak, oh, so I'm excited about that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, well, well, we should go with you. You, you got should. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just okay. teasing. I'm just, I'm just teasing. <laughs> well, you about it, though. Yeah, right. she, she reminds me of Jessica. Our daughter. Yes, so you yes, might, you, you know, do. That's yeah, what he your, said. You your know, spirit, your personality. Thank you. And she's she's very creative as well. Oh yeah, you know. loves that kind. Yeah. Of so what's so. next for this star, the shining star? What's <laughs> oh, next for thank you? Thank you. Um, so I plan to stay stay in Atlanta after graduation in the spring and to grow and scale the company. Um, so right now we're getting ready on publishing another 13 books written by 13 students who live in Vine City in the Western community. All ages between 12 and 14, and after their books are published, we're just going to continue to create more sales to help them, and then to get other young authors a part of the company. Awesome! Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, the best for you is yet to come. Absolutely. Thank you. you know, and, Absolutely. Uh, you know, don't give up, you know, keep going. You don't seem like you have a give up spirit. She's not the give you know? up kind. I can <laughs> yeah. look right at her and see that. No. Thank you. In fact, she I encourages others not to give up. That's right. Yeah, I receive all that. Because yes. it gets tough at times, but those reminders, they yes. mean more than you'll know. Yes, know yes, yes. I know well, it gets tough. Everything gets tough, right? I mean, yeah. uh, any profession, any career, Miss um, Mann, she's a singer, you know. It's tough in the music business, you know. Absolutely. Uh, our producer, you know, she has produced shows, and those shows can be tough. And, mm -hmm. you know, being a parent can be tough, you know. Mm -hmm. So we all have challenges, but thank God he brings us through all those. Thank God. Yes, he does. You know, thank God. And, uh, and we're thankful, you know. And so we take every day as it comes, mm -hmm. one day at a time. 
and just trust in the Lord. Trust in yeah. And I would tell you, Lord. just trust in the Lord, and yeah. He will direct your path. That's exactly what she's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just so impressed with that. Thank you, you so know? much. And I know that you're an encouragement, not only in a role model to the uh, the people around you, the kids yeah. around you, the young people, but you know, you're right now being an encouragement to so many people that are watching. Thank you so much. And you know, this is the Christmas season, and sometimes yes. it can be down, especially for young people. Yeah. I just wonder, could you give them? A specific word of encouragement right now. Um, Absolutely. If you could look into the camera and just yeah. um, just say something that would lift people up during this holiday season, and you know, being the spiritual, God-fearing and loving woman that you are, just give some encouraging words to your to your peers. Mm -hmm. Well, I would encourage you all to keep the faith, and I know it um, may sound corny. A lot of people say it often, um, and it gets hard, but but to do it and know that as long as you trust God, your steps are ordered. Um, he's already ordained for you to be the person that you are and that he created you for a reason and for Amen. a purpose. And nobody can take that away from you. Amen. Um, so keep going. Wake up every day and just left, right, left, right. Um, you may not have a smile on your face when you do it, and you may have a lot on your shoulders while you're doing it, but you keep walking, you keep stepping, and know that God will always order your steps. Girl, you're going to preach in a minute. I'm, I'm telling about, you what. I'm about to throw, she's got a hand. The Lord's hand is on her. I'm about to throw this in the air. But the that, hand of the Lord is on her. I'm so, I mean, you just have moved, you've sent chills through me just, just now. That's, Thank that's you so much. So that's much. awesome. And God's got some great plans for you, and I'm just so excited. I pray I'll be able to see, and I'm sure you're going to make an impact on this community before you go anywhere else. So yeah. I can't wait to see what the Lord's going to be doing and in And thank life. you so much. And yeah. UNCF, they need to be proud to have you as Absolutely. a spokesperson for them. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, they've helped me tremendously. So I'm so honored to be on the team there yes. and to help them and to be the spokesperson for that. I yeah, know and, it. And That's I, so great. I give a shout out to your parents and to yes. Clark University and the people who are around you yeah. that have helped you along the way. Yes. You know, because we're all... Uh, in this a product of, of the help and love and compassion of others, right? Yes. So I just give a shout out to all those people who have wrapped their arm yes. around you. Absolutely. And that, uh, you know, it's beautiful. helped you it's become the, the great woman that you are. Thank you. Know. you. If I had a son who ain't married, probably. <laughs> but he's, he just got he's married. He's got just got <laughs> Well, you congratulations. Know, we got nobody, but one yeah, day we got a great daughter-in-law, though. Okay. We pray for yeah, your she, mate, whoever yeah, that is, too. Yes. Yeah, we pray yes. for your mate. That is <laughs> fixing him up right now. Yeah, fixing him up. He's comes. already picked. Yes. God's Absolutely. already got him. Absolutely. And you have to come back, him. too, and keep us posted yes. on, on, on your journey and what you've got going on. Absolutely. Because so many times, sometimes uh, we interview people, uh, you know, but we don't get a chance to talk to them again. And yeah. to be able to hear how your story is unfolding mm -hmm. and to see it come it's to life. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. It'd be Thank great you. to see and revisit yeah. that and talk about it. I would yes. love to. I feel a part of the family now. Yes, you are, you are a part you, of the family You are now. a family. You yes. are a family. You family. have really helped us today. Yes, yes. What a wonderful first guest for our Christmas program. Thank you so much <laughs> for yeah, And Merry me. Christmas. I know you're going home. Yes. But Merry Christmas. Uh, you go yes, back right. to California. I will be California. back in California, yeah. so I'm so But you come on back home. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Have I will. Have a wonderful trip, and God bless you. Uh, and now we're going to go to Rachel Mann again with the Christmas song. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Loaded love. 
Oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Rachel. We enjoyed that. What beautiful music. I hope you're enjoying the first part of our program and uh, our wonderful guests. Uh, we just, we're just blessed today. And, and I know that this is uh, the Christmas season, and uh, you're right now probably, as you watch this program, you may have your phone in your hand searching the web, trying to figure out what you're going to buy for that next Christmas gift or what you want for Christmas. And, uh, and I'll tell you, all those things are exciting and all of those things are good. And I know many churches are preparing for Christmas programs, uh, even on Christmas Day. Our church, World Changes, is having a Christmas program that day. So you all are invited to come out. I think it's at 10 o'clock on Christmas Day. So come on out. But uh, find a church on Christmas, if you can, to uh, go out and really just celebrate the real reason for the season. Because at the end of the day, it's really about what our, our Lord and J uh, Savior Jesus Christ has done for us, and that God has been so good and so kind to us. So don't forget the reason for the season. And so we're so thankful. What beautiful music. You're going to have a chance to go uh, uh, to your phones and call in in a moment uh, and really ask for prayer. Uh, and I know some of you may even call and ask for a special gift, maybe a heart transplant, or maybe something very uh, life-threatening that yeah. you're going through that you're going to need help with. And you're asking the Lord to give that to you for Christmas. And he is a way maker. He's a miracle wor worker. And he can do all things. And he is so gracious and so kind. And when he died on Calvary, he said, it is finished. And through his grace, he has given us all things. You just have to believe it. And I am so crazy enough to believe that what he said in his word is true. And I'm going to hold on to it because that is the real gift. And so I invite you right now to place a call to the number on your screen and give uh, that counselor your prayer request and watch God do what he can do best. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail back over here in the prayer room. And in the most important part, I believe, of this program is our prayer room. We have got people back here that are ready to pray with you, and I want you to know that. Right. Please call us at 770-300-9828. Call us for whatever your needs may be. You may be going through a tough time right now. This is the holiday season, and sometimes people are burdened with so many different things, grief oh, yes. and, and all manner of things. But I'll tell you, we're getting a lot of calls right now, if you can hear our phone mm -hmm. ringing. And yes. this is Pastor Jimmy that's standing here with me, and he's going to tell us about some of the calls we're getting already. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Gail. And yeah. it's just such a wonderful blessing to be here and to have the privilege to pray with you. We have so many requests. I wish I could just tell you about them all, but know. you know, one that's touched me is somebody wants a closer walk with the Lord. Oh, that wow. always touches oh, me yes. when people want that's to get closer cute. to the Lord. Amen. And of course, there's always financial needs that people have calling yes. in. Yes. We have folks that are dealing with sickness, with all types of situations. And, and, and we want you to know there's never any need too large right. or too small. That's God right. is concerned about everything in your life. And if you don't know if you know the Lord is your Savior, yes. you need to call in tonight. Could you read them yes, that scripture? Yes, I will. The scripture, Romans 10, 9, and 10. If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart That's that right. God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. Yes. God wants to come into your life and change things around. And listen, I'm a witness. You are a witness. Yes. Jesus Christ will come live in you through his Holy Spirit, Amen. will make you all that he has created you to be. Yes. And he will bring you out of that whatever you're in, depression, yes. addiction. Yes. He will take over all of that and change it around. So if you want Jesus Christ in your life, say with me, Father, I know I'm a sinner. Oh, yes. I ask you to forgive me. Thank I you, believe Father. Christ died for me yes, and did. God has raised Jesus from the dead. Yes, I want to turn from my sins, Jesus. Come into my heart and be my personal Lord and Savior. Praise I promise God. to obey you and follow you all the days of my life. Yes. And if you have prayed that prayer, the Lord Jesus Christ has come to live in your heart, the person of Jesus. Trust in him, believe in him, get hooked up with a good Bible church, and he will bring you through. Yes. I promise you that. We're a witness Amen. to that. Amen, right? We're going back to the studio now for our music with Carl Ray.
in the morning when I Come to die. Oh, when I come to die. That's all we need is Jesus. That's all we need is Jesus. That's all we need is Jesus. From now on, our troubles 
Christmas, everybody. Yay, Carl Ray, thank you so much. We were sitting over here just having a really good time with that music. Thank you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the only one we need. And I just thank you for that this Christmas. Somebody needed to hear that. But listen, we've got some wonderful guests for you right now. Two beautiful ladies who have a wonderful, wonderful ministry and business that they're gonna tell you all about. And they're helping uh, young people with autism. And it's just profound what they're doing. And it's Christina Banbury and Tamika Meadows with Mind Smart Group. Welcome. Hi, how are Welcome, you? Welcome, nice Christina. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you so, much. so glad to see you both. We just had a good time back there talking in the other room, oh, in the green yeah. room. <laughs> and uh, you all just have a lot to talk about. But this is a beautiful, beautiful thing that you're doing for um, people with autism. Yes. And so why don't you just tell us a little bit about your company first and foremost, and then we'll get into some other things. Sure, of course. So we started MindSmart Foundation and MindSmart Corporation. It is actually the first social enterprise in the world for autism therapy services. So wow. what we have going on here, we have our corporation in which we deal with Medicaid services and families who, you know, they have Medicaid because they can't afford other insurance. Um, and so we're providing them with like really good quality services because there's a need for that. Um, and we take 50% of those proceeds of our profit. We put, we put it back into our nonprofit foundation. And the nonprofit focuses on delivering like services and programs to people in the community. Um, we basically, we employ people to be ABA therapists. Um, um, mm -hmm. We do parent training programs, behavior programs. Mm -hmm. And so it's just mm -hmm. like a whole cycle of we just keep reinvesting back into the community because there's a huge need for it right now. Awesome. Absolutely. It is a, a huge need. And you're the owner of the company. Yes. And started the company. Yes. And then you have Tamika with you who, yes. who does a lot of the... She's our executive director of curriculum and training. training and mm -hmm. the parent training and training the staff and creating the substance that we use to, to teach them how to work with the kids. 
Oh my, and that's a lot of information. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And you all have a testimony about how you got started with this. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. for me, uh, my entry into this, this line of work was completely accidental. It was not something I went to school for. Right. Um, I just kind of fell into it. And then as I started working with these kids and realizing that I loved it and I had a passion for it, the closer I got to Jesus, the more he started talking to me about what I was doing and mm. saying to me, you know, I really want you to, you know, help these people. I want you to help these families. You know, yeah. he started giving me different ideas and each one of them was, you know, scary and terrifying. I was like, I don't know how to do that, Lord, but <laughs> okay. And, you know, I would just kind of walk, you know, hesitantly towards it. And then, you know, as he always does, he would just take over and be right. like, okay, I got this part. You know, I just needed you to step into it. And so, you know, the more families that I work with and the more families that I meet, the more I see that there truly is a need for people who are compassionate and they really oh, yes. are motivated by more than just a job. Because this is, you know, these are people's children. Like this is the greatest treasure that we have. So you're dealing with people's it. children and their future. And so, you know, you need some other kind of motivation driving you to do that. Yes, and I remember you were saying it's bet it's best to get to them early. Yes, when they are young. Children. Early intervention mm -hmm. is key. Yes. That's what the research tells us. They they reach the the greatest mm -hmm. milestones. They make the furthest progress because mm -hmm. you know with with any behavior, just think about something you've been doing every day for you know a very long time. It gets. Right entrenched, it gets ingrained. Uh -huh. And so if someone were to come one day and say, don't do that anymore, you, you would yeah. be like, well, why not? I've been doing that for 12 years. So when we start when they're very, very young, it's a lot easier to kind of teach them better ways to do things. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, tell me this, how did the two of you get connected? Okay, so that's very interesting. <laughs> Is that very interesting? I actually, we worked for the same company. Um, I've been with them, or I was with them for five years. I actually left in October, but I met her about two years ago yeah. and we had the same client and we found out out one day we were going on a walk with our client because he likes to go walking. Yeah. Um, we found out that we have the same birthday, which is August yeah. 30th. Oh, and it's kind of cool one of those that? things that like everything just came together since mm -hmm. then. Divine we have connection. so many things mm -hmm. in common. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And so we went on a trip last year to, I believe it was St. Simon's mm -hmm. and we prayed about it and we just made it like a spiritual trip all about God. And oh, we wow. were laying on the beach in St. Simon's and there was like a huge circle rainbow. And we had this encounter with two birds. Like one of them was crippled and we we're like, Jesus, what are you trying to tell us? And oh, it's like, Goodness. You know, in our hotel room, it said, don't ever think that, um, do you remember what the quote was? Like a few people can't make a difference. Cause that's, okay. that's all it starts with. Yeah. And we were like, yeah. whoa, wow. what is going on here? You know? <laughs> and so slowly we've seen God just work in our lives mm -hmm. and the way that he brought us together. And then like over the past year, he separated us for a time being. And she was a director at, at a doctor's office. And I became program director at the, the place that we were working at before. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like God was working on us in mm -hmm. our own different ways. And then he brought us back together. And so, you know, I just left our company in October and she was already gone. So now it's like, wow, like we just came right back together. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You all are great together, I can tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, we're a really good balance. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So you have some things coming up, do you? We do. So this weekend we have our big outreach going on. It's the first one that we've ever done. We're super excited. What will it be? Um, so it's going to be at Centennial Olympic Park. It's okay. called December 5000, the Season of Miracles. Originally, it was supposed to be from the Bible, how Jesus fed the crowd of 5000. And that's what the vision has been. And it's changed a little bit working up into the date. And God has kind of rearranged a little bit of things, you know, but mm -hmm. we've had so many blessings happen. So the way that the food has been delivered, the toys, we just got a hundred toys on Friday and they're gonna mm -hmm. literally come drop them off for us. And Tamika has a whole bunch of resources we're gonna mm -hmm. be giving out to everybody who comes. Yes. And we're gonna have live Christian Christmas music. We even talked to Rachel. She said she might be coming out on Sunday and performing. Oh, so, that's awesome. Right, so well, that was really that exciting. Connection. Right, just ordained timely like meetings right. with everybody. And so it's been just such a blessing to see how God's worked this season. Absolutely. And There's, food you're giving? Yes, yes we food are. Food and everything for people. Yes, and so we are. Oh, Absolutely. Good. Oh, and also consignment clothes too mm -hmm. for the kids yeah, right. of all right, sizes. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, and we want everybody to know that everybody is welcome basically yes. because right now um, we have 159 people diagnosed with autism. So the CDC is calling on, you know, the nation's leaders and service providers right. to step up. So this is a call for action. We want everybody to come out because that means people in our neighborhoods, everybody is affected, you know, so you don't Absolutely. have to have autism. You don't have to know somebody, but just everybody come in because that's what we need right now. Right. So that's what we're here to deliver right. these services. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what some of the misconceptions about children with autism right. that people yeah, have. So a really big one is that they're all the same. 
That's mm -hmm. that's one I hear a lot when people find out what I do and they're like, oh, mm -hmm. so that's like, you know, someone who's very smart and they can, you know, tell how many toothpicks are on the ground when you <laughs> drop the toothpicks, you know, or they'll say, oh, so that's someone who can't talk and they're very impacted. And, right. and I'm like, well, yes and no, because there's a spectrum. Right. So it's that and it's everything in between. Gotcha. It's, you know someone who works a job and they're married and they have a family and it's someone who is 22 years old and they're still living at home and they don't have a lot of language. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's it's everything in between. Wow. It's someone's cousin, nephew, neighbor, mm -hmm. sure. you know, brother. It's it's people that we might interact with every day and you know, I like to say to people that autism doesn't have a look to okay. it. Mm -hmm. If you see a child somewhere, they could be autistic and you would have no idea. Okay. And depending on what they're mm -hmm. doing, people just assume that, you know, they're just being bad because they might be having a hard time at mm -hmm. that moment. Maybe they're screaming okay. in Burger King or, you know, they're on the floor at the grocery store and people make judgments, but that child could have autism and that could be why they're mm. acting the way they're acting. So it's, it's just really important to not have this judgment right. towards these kids and these individuals and adults, you know, sure. because they really just yes. need help and mm -hmm. support and services. Right. Well, because of that, is it hard to diagnose it? It, it is hard to diagnose. Okay. There, there's specific processes that have to take place. It's, it's not like other things where, you know, you can have a certain blood yeah. test and see it under a microscope. There's mm -hmm. a lot of behavioral observations. Um, but for a lot of people, what I would say is far more pressing is that they don't pursue a diagnosis. Oh, okay, because they, yeah. Because they don't necessarily they don't know. know what's going mm -hmm. on. They right. Know. Know. They think, oh, he'll outgrow it, or he's a late talker, or she just likes to be by herself. Oh, and, right, you right, know, they right. don't realize there's, there's something more going on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what would be some of the things that you would tell people about what, oh what, 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 could, what could lead them to seek that out? I would say... So they can get the help they need. When I talk to parents, what I hear is I always had a gut feeling. Okay. So I would say if you're a parent and you have a gut feeling yeah, something's that going on. something's not Go right. with your gut. Okay, right. right. Yes, like you okay. can't go, go with wrong your gut. by pursuing Absolutely. an evaluation. All you'll do is just set your mind at ease. Right. You yes. Know, don't yes. wait. Don't, you know, exactly. wait till he's three or four or five because that's time you can't Waiting too back. long, yes. Yeah. Like you said, catch it as early as yes, possible. Yes, as early as possible. Yes. And okay. I just wanted to add on one thing yeah. to that. I just want people to know that these are some of the smartest kids that I've ever worked yeah. with before. So that's another misconception because because these kids have so many abilities that I don't think people really know about. And right, so right. I just want to say that. They have gifting in a lot of areas. I've they heard do. that. Exactly. They do. Heard that. Yeah. But like you were talking about the awareness that's Exactly. come about through the Good Doctor right. yes. program. Right and yes. It is the biggest time to yeah. be in history. It couldn't be a better time to work in this field as ABA therapists, you know, and to bring programs because we have the Good Doctor out right mm -hmm. now. People want to know about what, what right. is autism, good you know. Doctor. We see it yeah. with the Good Doctor, with him being a doctor, but what more, what is there more to it, you know, um, as well as what else do we have going on? <laughs> I feel like there's just a lot of attention now because, you know, we have these walks and, you know, we have these different, you know, April is Autism right. Awareness Month and the blue lights mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. So it's people are more aware, but awareness doesn't necessarily equal action. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so okay. just because someone knows what it is and they've heard of it, right. um, that doesn't mean you would recognize it in your family. Oh. That, that doesn't mean that, you know, if it was your child, you would necessarily see those initial beginning signs when they're two and three years old. So wow. I feel like beyond just awareness, we really need to get people information and education and connect them to And resources. that starts this weekend, too, mm -hmm. because you yes. guys are going to be giving out Absolutely. information. Absolutely. Free yes. information. Right, yes. free information yes. to help. Because we're starting come January, we're hitting the road, and we're going to be de delivering all these services. So all the support we're getting right now is for what we're doing coming up. So mm -hmm. this is for our community in Atlanta, and we're branching out. You know, we want this to be throughout the country, worldwide. Right now we have on our social media, it's called the Mind Smart Movement 2018. So we've reached to Egypt. We've had somebody hold up a sign for Mind Smart in oh. Egypt. We've reached over to Beijing mm -hmm. and and wow. Tokyo, uh, LA, Atlanta. So it's just, it's moving around. So the movement continues. This is just the beginning. And so a movement, there's a call to action. Sure. Our call to action is this week and it starts with this first outreach event because we want everybody to come out. Everybody is welcome. Like I said, special needs community, autism, families, individuals, advocates, you know. And okay. with that being said, this Sunday, the last day of our event, we're going to be marching. There you from, go. I was going to say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. From Ask the Woodruff Art Center. We're starting okay. at 3 p.m. Woodruff Art Center. We're marching down to Centennial. Olympic Park and it's for autism and we'll have like the smiley face mascot out there with 
R.S. Andrews donated that to us for that, the day. So we that's want symbolic to too, yeah. Um, yeah. because even Wood, uh, Mr. Woodruff, you know, obviously his relationship with Coca Cola. Yeah. I retired from Coke. Yeah. Wow. And so yeah. he was a great philanthropist. Yes, exactly. And, uh, and, and in Atlanta, he's he and his family. Uh, as well as the Koch family has done some great things. So that's symbolic in itself. It's definitely right, symbolic, right. and that's the thing, because at first we didn't have event space, and it was like, you know, we had been praying, 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 but we know that God's going to provide. We kept waiting, and it was like, you know, it was actually last week that I woke up, and I was like a piano outside, and everything just came together to me, and it was like Centennial Olympic Park came up when I wrote that on the Internet, wow. and I was like, that's where we're going to do it. I was like, where better than to start a movement but down at Centennial Absolutely. Woodruff Art Center? Yeah. This is known in history. Like yes. the last time I went to Centennial Olympic Park was when the Dalai Lama was there, and it's it's like now, like I'm going to be there with this event. It's like, it's such a blessing. Isn't so that something? You know? And don't you feel when you're doing things to help people, children especially, yeah. but everybody, yeah. that God just blesses you? Don't yeah. you, you're just seeing things just blossoming out of your can't even ministry, tell. out of your work. Yes. He provides. Absolutely. Whatever like, you need. I can't even explain he? to you. Yeah, yeah so yeah, many yeah. blessings this season. It's insane. So you have a wealth of uh, service providers of mm -hmm. people that help, and mm -hmm. you guys can activate those on behalf of some of the yes. uh, individuals yes. with autism and families. So for, for families who are needing services or they're mm -hmm. needing parent training or, you know, they just kind of want to get more information, we, you know, we strongly encourage them to come out because we are going to be there giving out free information, explaining to them how we can connect them to the services that we provide taking down their information so if they have any questions any interest at all we just encourage them to come out this weekend and for those who can't come out of course they can go to your website yes right? they can go to the website yes. www.mindsmart.us mm -hmm. mm -hmm. use your mind to be smart about there it you go. <laughs> yes <laughs> i like that yeah, yeah, mind is a terrible thing to waste That's right, right. All, of this, all of this connects right. together right. That's right exactly <laughs> i was going to say that our saying is the future belongs to us yes. and so oh, it's like you know it's an executive like effort so yeah, everybody like yeah um yeah so you guys got a lot going on yeah you do um we're gonna be praying for you thank you, you. you know, thank uh, you you know, people, I, I don't know if it's a disability. Is it called a disability? Would that be safe to say? We because, like to say it's just different abilities. It's just different, different right? Different yeah. abilities. Because right? yeah. I know sometimes it's not appropriate to say something's a different Right, disability. and there are a lot of adult autistics who get a little offended by yeah. term terminology. They may say we have, like they may say we yeah, have no, disabilities. Right? Right? I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm good. You guys <laughs> right, are one that's got right. the disability. It's a spectrum, right. so, you know, it affects like you people said. differently. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I like the part about they have giftings. Oh, really they strong really ones. Do. Yes, they, know, really I mean, they're they're creative. They're smart. They see things we don't see. They're empathetic. Like, you know, they know when you're upset. They know, oh, wow. you know, when you need a hug. Like, I've had so many kids just hug me out of nowhere, and I'm just like, why are you well, hugging I, me? I right. need How to <laughs> How did you know, know I needed that? Need that? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, though? Yes. That's They're so special. of the sweetest kids. Mm -hmm. That's yes. precious. <laughs> so what time does this event start Saturday? So it's 10 to 5 on Saturday oh, and Sunday. Oh, and five. Sunday. Two-day mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. Rain, sleek, or snow. Yes. We will be you know. There's a lot That's going right. on, a lot of rain well, right now. It's not going to keep it. It's not going to hurt us. Just in time, we already That's know. right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we Lord, hope that we're right. we going to yeah, we claim it. Yeah, we're going to claim it for you. We claim it all that. Thank you. We're claiming victory, you. you know. That's right. And, and so you're planning for how many people have you planned for? For how many ever God brings to us. But originally it was 5,000, but it's up to how many ever 5,000 keeps coming up today. I know it. That's a We were talking about 5,000 before, you know. I like that. Yeah, yeah. 5,000, that's a Big numbers. So we're we're <laughs> hoping. I mean, it's, oh, yeah, it's very doable. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, we, we serve a, a big God, right? Yes, that's we right. Do. Yes, right. Do. So that's He created right. all Feed of this and all of us. That's right. If He can do all that, we can dream big. That's yes, right. Man. Sometimes that's we right. dream too little. Yes, yes there you go. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We yeah. say that to each other a lot. So make sure your make sure your dream is big, right? Right? Make sure it's something that you're going to need God's help with. That's right. <laughs> that you can't do on your own. Yeah, absolutely. And then you know who's yeah. responsible. Yeah, you yeah. know who's responsible, sure. who delivered sure. that to yes. you. Yes. So that's our prayer for you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'm hoping people in Atlanta who are listening today, yes. Yes. even those who are in the surrounding cities, you know, yeah. drive on in. Yeah, yes. come on you in. Know, and, yeah. and spend the day and absolutely. learn something. We have something for everybody. We do. So. We do. Awesome. Well, listen, awesome. we've just got a couple more minutes, and I want you to say something to the audience out there with awesome. people who may be struggling, may have that gut thing yeah, in there that's yeah. that they're a little fearful about or just some encouraging words over this holiday season for them. I can personally say that right now, ever since I quit my job, I've really had to step out on faith and I've just seen God work the most that I've ever seen before. And so if I could just give one thing from the Bible would be seek mm. first the kingdom of God 
and all its righteousness and all else will be given unto you. And I can say that as a testimony right now, because I've had that happen to me over the course of this entire year, especially over the past couple of months. And so do that and all else will be given to you. So. Ooh, amen. Amen. So I would say that one of our, our mottos is that we want to, to teach, to proclaim and to heal mm. To, mm. to families and to parents. Amen. And also we added to give hope. Because a lot of families who have, you know, either kids who are autistic or kids with special needs, they feel like they can't really hope that things will get better. They, they're, they're afraid to hope for the future. And we are just here to say, you know, absolutely change is possible. Like, absolutely, you know, you can maintain high hopes for your children and for their future. And, you know, Jesus is the one who is over your children. And he is the one who, you know, blessed you with these children. And, you know, amen, we want to be here to be yes, the hands yes. and feet. And, and just, you know, to be a help, to be a place of support and to be a place of information and education for these families. Absolutely. Thank you all so much. Thank you. It's been what a pleasure. blessing you have been. You have been awesome. Come back and see us. Awesome. We'll be back next year. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, we are so excited. Yeah. Has this not been a wonderful It hour? has been. It's been a wonderful hour with wonderful guests. Wonderful you, too. <laughs> And your music was beautiful. Thank you, honey. Come back with us. We've got a second half that you don't want to miss. So be sure to come back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Atlanta Live. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's here. It's here. It's here. Mm. It's here. This is the season. Here. Jesus is the reason. Mm. So we're all the way, always celebrating Jesus. Didn't we have a first, uh, great first? Oh, yeah. we did. The guests were phenomenal. Yeah, the awesome. guests were awesome. phenomenal. Talking about autism and helping babies with autism uh, and the, the difference. UNCF. I learned a lot. Well, I did too. I learned a lot from that. And then UNCF, Leah was yeah. with us. Oh, and that was awesome. She's she so, was so precious. Standing for a young person. I mean, not the young people aren't outstanding, <laughs> but she was just phenomenal, wasn't I, she? Yeah, I thought, I thought she was cool. I thought she was real cool. Yeah, I thought she was cool. You thought she was just like our, she, mind you, music, Jessica. The music was great, too. Yes, you know? yes, yes, the music was absolutely Rachel wonderful. Was the and we're getting ready to talk to Rachel, too. Awesome. We're getting ready to talk to Rachel. We're going right we're into gonna it. We're going to hear her sing again, too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. At some point. Yes. Yeah. She's coming back on to sing with us. Yeah. But right now, we're going to sit and have a conversation with her and find out a little bit about her testimony around her music. How about that? So welcome, everybody. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you. What up? What up? <laughs> what up? 
Girl, don't make me. Is, is, what it, a, is it a one name <laughs> thing? Is it, a, like is it a Rachel one Rachel. name? Denzel. I'll tell you. Right. No, you can say Rachel, man. You can say it's Rachel, all man. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's you like Denzel, you know, just uh, Rachel. No, I say Rachel. <laughs> just Rachel. Just Rachel. Put it on t-shirts, yes. Rachel. I like it. I have it. an extra A in my name, so it Come makes on, it now. like, just, you know, I It makes it really different. <laughs> well, we enjoyed oh, your we've music. Been, oh, so we've been far. enjoying it yeah. so much. Thank you for coming. You're phenomenal. Thank you so much for Why'd having me. Why'd you learn to sing like that, girl? <laughs> this is what's crazy. Like, I'm the only one in my family that sings. No way. Yeah. You're well, the only one in your family yes. that sings? Yes. Really? Now, my dad's brother, we heard that he could sing. He he is no longer living. I never met him, but oh, we heard wow. that he, he sang. Um, I don't know what he sang like. I don't know what he sounded like, but I, I never asked God to sing. You know, some people pray for the voice to sing, and yeah. I, I never did. I just started singing one day. That was your gift. It, yeah. That was your gift. I was a little, little girl, and I just woke up, and I remember it vividly. Now, what made so. you decide to, to sing for the Lord? You know, that was, um, when I was in high school, I had a little bit of a struggle with that because I grew up singing in church, but I was like, well, you know, I can be a Christian in the non-Christian music industry, and sure. you can. Yes. You definitely, God can definitely you can. use you. And I know there are people in the non-Christian music industry that are Christians, and God's using them. Right. But I remember for me specifically, there was an encounter that I had with God, and I, I vividly heard this. I vividly heard it. Do you want to sing for the world, or do you want to sing for me? Ooh, and I ooh. said, God, I want to sing for you. Wow. And ever since then, I, you know, when people ask me, hey, Rachel, why don't you do this or do that? And I say, you know, yeah, I mean, I can sing certain songs that, you know, maybe don't have bad language or anything yeah, like that sure. on it. But, you know, for a career or for my calling, I know that I'm created to sing gospel Christian music because I want to make Christ known oh, to wow. the world. That's Praise so God. beautiful. That's my prayer. Praise God. That yeah. is beautiful. And you're doing it. And you Thank are you. doing it. And you're doing yeah. it. Yeah, and he will open the doors. I tell you, when you pray, you know, some people's callings it may be just to sing at their church. And if that's mm -hmm. the case, then that's awesome, you know. But, but, you but for me personally, I believe that God's created me for a bigger a platform. bigger platform. Yeah. Yes. So. Well, and, we believe that too. Yeah. Well, you. <laughs> and you've, you've sang. He has opened up a lot of doors. You've been singing with a lot of different people. I have. Well known people. Yes. I opened yeah. up for Kurt Franklin um, at the BJCC Arena in Birmingham, wow. Alabama. Yeah. It, John P. Key was there, Hezekiah Walker. Yep. Uh, that was awesome. All. That was awesome. I bet that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was a memory I will never forget. It was great. You oh, know, man. my parents were there and they, they loved it. They were just, they loved it. So, oh, wow. Now, wow. where are great. you from? Are you from here? No. no I grew up from? in Alabama. I am an Alabama oh. girl. So who's your football team? Oh, you Come know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. You don't even have to ask. <laughs> Sweet home, what? Say, don't oh, even oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. I grew up by the beach. I'm a, I grew up, uh, my whole family lives down there. Okay. I uh, lived in Nashville for a long time. So mm -hmm. just. Uh, Nashville's cool. Nashville yes, is cool. Is. I like in Nashville. Yeah. I met a lot of wonderful friends that yeah. I still keep, a lot of musicians. Things I was that, say, that's a lot nice. of things that I've prayed about, doors open there that I, that I never, like as a child, you only dream about. So. Oh, yeah. wow. That's so cool. Well, more yeah. doors are going to open. I'm sure. Amen. Absolutely. I, I know I am, I keep praying and I know that God is capable and able of doing anything. That's right. Now, are you a anything. writer too? Do you write? I am. Okay. I actually, all the songs, except for maybe one, but every single song that I've ever come out with on, um, the iTunes, uh, are just on music places. Right, right. Um, there's, I, I wrote. You oh, wrote. Wow. Yeah. So you wrote, mo you write most of the yes, music. Yes, yes. That's incredible. Yes. That's so wonderful. So wrote or co-wrote. Good. Uh, you know. Because that's where, as you, yes. as you explore your gift. Yes. Not only is the business important, the yes. business of writing and publishing. Right. And, um, right. you know, all of that is equally yes. important. And it's good to collaborate with other yes. artists too Absolutely. because you're not going to always have every you idea. Know. You know, you've got to feed off of other people. They make you better. They do. They take you down a road you may not yeah. have gone before. Exactly. And you know, there's there's always going to be somebody that may be more, you know, skilled in an area maybe than you are. So right, it's, it right, does right. help to learn from those people and not always think that you're the best. That's you know, right. Learn. Always learn be open people. to learning. Always be open to, to learning. Yeah. Absolutely. So you absolutely. got some things coming up that you I want to tell do. us about? What's yeah. happening? So um, currently I'm about to start working on a new project. This has been a long time coming. It's been four years since I've really worked on a new project. So I have a friend that's a producer in Nashville mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be working on some songs and uh, coming next year now. Coming next uh -oh. year. Uh -oh. Watch out. 
Come on, Watch now. Out. You've been new songs, okay. new songs. New songs, <laughs> new songs. Get pumped up about it, huh? Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. Well, you have to come back, too. Yeah. I know. Once all that music, you give birth to all that music right. and make it come to pass. Come yes. back and share it. Do you yes. have things out now? I do. Yeah. I do. So you can just Google my name and it yeah. will pop up. And yeah. some Christmas music. I just uh, had some Christmas music. Um, you can just go to Google. you have a favorite Christmas song? You know... I love Christmas. I'm like you. I love I, I love this. The studio is absolutely Isn't it beautiful. beautiful? I just feel like I'm just in Oh, a my Christmas goodness, movie. when I walked in. Yeah. I love it. You know, I'm a huge, you can ask my family that phew, I am watching every Christmas movie known to man right now. So. I, I know. They're all coming on right now. <laughs> they so. are. Trust me. We've seen our They few. have Trust it every me. day. Yeah. Trust me. All the way up to Christmas. Yeah, we have a the grandson, so every we know year. all about it. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. So they're, they're, I, I love Christmas time. So, you know, I have so many. I love, but the, you know, the older ones, like Away in a Manger. And, How's that yeah. go? Oh, oh, How's Away in a go? Manger, no crib for a bed. <laughs> Wait, was that right? Yeah, yeah you're right. right. You're right. Okay. Silent night. <laughs> Silent night. Just... You know, just songs like that that are just so beautiful, like yeah. the old, the older ones that you don't really hear a, a lot, lot anymore. anymore. I, I, I love them. There's, I there's know every word to them, probably. Right. You know. I mean, it's like opening up a hymn. Yes. Some exactly. beautiful. The words are just so exactly. beautiful. I mean, these we don't do it a lot today, but it's beautiful. And so you're from Alabama. Born and raised. But you live where? I'm sorry. I well, I'm I'm in between here and Nashville. I I go back, go back and, and forth. forth. I have family there, family here. I mean, it's just, it's the best of both worlds, but I love to travel. I, I, that's my prayer. It's like God opened the door for me to travel throughout the world because I love it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, and you're probably going to go this weekend to. Yes, to maybe that do is. With, yeah, uh, so I'm actually oh. going out of town actually this weekend. I'm singing out of town this weekend. So I'll be coming back on Saturday. So if I'm able to make it to that event. That would be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So y'all need to all come out to the Yes, event. I'm yeah, thinking yeah. we're, we're everybody thinking listening about that. Tonight yes. needs to come out. Everybody, everybody, come out and support everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if yeah. it snows, oh. it snows. Oh, it won't snow. Is it going to snow? No, no, no. It no. won't snow. I hope it, it doesn't snow tonight. No, no. It won't snow. Everybody say no. People no. in the studio so. say no. No, no. It's telling me to zip it, right? How can people reach you? Yeah, I have a website. Yes, tell us Tell us your information. You rachelman.org. Okay. And it's R A C H A E L. All right. M A N N dot org. Okay. You can go to that. I have concert dates coming up. And there's also a, a first page you go to, there's a newsletter. You can sign up for that. And I send like behind the scenes stuff oh, to people okay. that the public won't get. You know, okay, it's like so a behind the scenes thing. The VIP stuff. The VIP. Oh, yes. Yeah, there and you go. And you can go. also, there's a booking tab. So if you're a church or anybody's looking for, you know, a singer for an event, you can just go to that booking awesome. tab, put your information, I'll get it. You'll get it. Oh, great. And you'll be you there. It. I'll be there. Yeah. Great. And whatever's on there that you're about to yeah. do is all, all yes, that's there. Yes, it is. There. I have a news tab, and it talks about some of the things that are going on right now. Okay. So that's good. So who are some of your idols? Oh, you no, know, I, well, I, yeah, well, I, I got you. People I who are inspired you. You know, I grew up listening to Michael W. Smith. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Which, which this yeah. is a cool thing about that. I'll just oh, tell yeah. you. When I was a little girl, I wrote him to the fan club. I was so excited, like eight, nine years old. First concert I saw was Michael W. Smith. Wow. And uh, when I moved to Nashville, I actually sang background for his, um, one of his CDs. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So God opening those doors. Yes. That's right. I got a call one day. It's like, hey. You want to sing background from Michael W. I know. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah so, What's the address? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Where do I go? And yeah. so it was. It was really fun. It was a, actually a bunch of my friends were there. It was great. So it was it's like good. a big family singing on the background of his CD. So, you know, I grew up listening to him, but also um, Karen Carpenter. Oh, okay. Oh, no. You, I can yeah, see that. I can yeah, see that. Yeah, yeah. And I might be singing one of our songs tonight. Oh. So, oh. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, you're gonna cool. take me back now because I, I was a big fan of really? the Carpenter. Yeah. yeah, you know, I think Richard's still doing music. He's got stuff on that he's still doing. So okay. yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful singing. Yeah, it's uh, great, great music, and so yeah. we're we're excited. We look forward. We to are excited to, and, and learning more about you. Thank you very we're much. We're gonna try to come out Saturday. Please do. Yeah. I would love to yes. see y'all. Now we're, it's gonna be sunny on Sunday. Well, it's gonna yeah. be sunny. <laughs> we're all proclaiming Absolutely. it. Yes. We're all claiming <laughs> it and proclaiming 50, it. 50, 60 degrees, not cold. <laughs> Make sure you go to her website and learn Thank more you. about it. Okay, Thank so we're gonna go. Much. Hey, listen. God yes, bless you. Thank we're looking forward so to hearing much. you. We've got a special presentation that will be right over with Rachel. Yes.
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Man, that was I'm beautiful. In the spirit. Beautiful, Rachel. Thank I'm you in the so Christmas much. Spirit. Thank you so much. And she much, will be Rachel. singing again too. Yeah, you know? I can't wait to hear it. Right? I know, I know. I and know. she just reminds that song reminded me of just Christmas. I know, you know it. And, Beautiful and, songs. And, They've been beautiful songs all night, all night. And we've had night. some great Christmases. And we, we've had some great Christmases. And, you know, first we've had some great guests. We want to thank all of our guests because you guys have been phenomenal. This is part of Christina my Christmas Christina and Tamika. This How is, my, is this part this of your Christmas Because God allowed me to be here. Oh, yes. You're right. And all this music. This was a all, gift. And the words was of, a gift. of all our guests. Christina and Tamika from MindSmart Group and Leah Hernandez from UNCF and Rachel doing a phenomenal and job, and Carl, and Gail. Gail, Carl. And all of the people, you can't see them in here, but all of our crew and, and yes, the people who make and this thing happen producer, from yeah. the front door to behind the scenes. I mean, everybody's just making this a special day. And We've been blessed and, this and year. We, We've been we blessed this year. We just thank God for all of them. And uh, yes, we, indeed. And really thank you. I see some of them smiling, so we love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody, what, what, no, what? No, yeah. We <laughs> love oh, you, thank yes. you. And uh, we look forward to this Christmas. Cause yes, we're, we're looking forward to Christmas What are you giving me for Christmas? Uh, I'm not telling. Oh. So you're not supposed to tell what you're getting for Christmas, right? Oh, wow. Uh, sure. But anyway, yes. You know, we have wonderful traditions and things that we Stockings. do for Christmas. We, we love do, to put music on. We, we love Christmas music all through the house, you know, every year. Candles. Yes, candles, Christmas candles with the wonderful smells, oh gosh, all through the house. And we get out this big, um, it's a tr treasure chest that we have all our pictures our in. pictures. You know, nowadays, you look at everything's them. on your camera, right? But we, there was a time where... We still have a chest full of had, pictures. Yeah, so we take out all those pictures and we go through them and we laugh at the same pictures yeah, We do year. Christmas cookies every year. My, yeah. my daughter and now and my they grandson. Make me eat them, right? And he always looks at them and turns his nose up. But <laughs> they're really good cookies. My Santa, daughter, Santa likes them. Well, my daughter's <laughs> older now, but um, she used to leave cookies in the plate, on a plate, and milk. <laughs> That's right. And those cookies were hard to and bite. And he would take but a bite out of it. Those <laughs> cookies. And the next morning she'd wake up, she'd see those cookies, and she'd say, oh, Santa, ate yeah, the cookies. Yeah, she was so happy. Obviously, she knows what's going on now. So, so. we've been doing those cookies every year, yeah. I tell you, and but, we have fun doing it. But our true Santa Claus is Jesus Christ, That's right. right? And we do read the scripture about his birth every year during our Christ, before our Christmas dinner. And uh, talk about or either before our for. gifts, right? We talk about what we're thankful for. We read those scriptures about what this is all about and thankful to God for saving us and what that our family for, is honey? saved. What are you I'm thankful? thankful for my family. I'm thankful for Jesus Christ and all he has done for me. I'm thankful for all he has taken me through and all he continues to bring me through. I'm thankful for his love. And um, that's yeah. the greatest gift of all. He's the greatest gift of all. Well said, well said. Gift that keeps on giving. Well, I'm, th <laughs> I'm thankful for you, obviously. I'm thankful for our church, the life that we give, yeah. uh, that we, we've been given. Um, and God trusts us with so much. Yes, um, yes. You know, I just pray that he will continue to help us to be a responsible parents and yes. husbands and wives and friends. And, um, Absolutely. So we're excited about 2019. But it's not here yet because <laughs> we got to still celebrate right. uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. So That's we're right. excited about but it. But it's going to be a wonderful year and it's going to be a wonderful Christmas. And I would say pray for those uh, and, and pick up the phone and call those who yes. may not have reached out to in a long time. Yes, and, yes, uh, family members. You know, Christmas can be tough, right, sometimes when people are not mm -hmm. around or loved ones have gone on to heaven uh, yes, or they're yes, sick yes. and shut in. But God, uh, God is faithful and he works through us. Now we're going to go back to Rachel again with the first Noel. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. We love you. Thank you. 